you want to create a setup with your desk where you only have to plug one cable into your computer, you need a Thunderbolt dock. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Sateki Display Link dock. This dock has some really neat technology in it that allows you to run up to four external displays with a Windows or a Mac computer. And what's really great about this is it actually uses Display Link. So even if you're using a base model Mac, like the M1 or an M2 MacBook Air, this is still going to give you the ability to have more than one external display. Now, Sateki did send me this doc for purposes of making this video, but they have no input into this content. All the thoughts in this video are my own, and we're going to go over my experience using this doc in the real world. What I really appreciate about Sateki is they always just have super sleek and minimal looking products, which is part of why this doc confuses me a little bit. On the top of it, it does say Thunderbolt pretty big. And then on the front of it, it also talks about the display link technology that's built in. But I wonder if they just put that in because you need to know this does use display link to work. So it's not like a standard dock where you just plug it in and the HDMI driver uses your computer graphics card. This uses the display link manager app instead. So before this will work with the HDMI ports on the back, you're going to need to make sure you install that display link driver, which can be found online. And I'll have a link for that in the description as well. So what I really like about this dock is the fact that they do give you the dual HDMI outputs on the back of it. And the fact that they use Display Link allows this to be compatible even with some of the lower end MacBook models like the M1 Air and the M2 Air that only supported one external display natively. So this is going to allow you to have more screens and to be able to plug your MacBook Air in with just one cable to have your content go to all your screens. And then you can also use it as that dock and take advantage of more Thunderbolt peripherals. You can plug it into the network. It'll give 96 watts of power to your computer through the Thunderbolt host port on the side. This does use Thunderbolt 4, but Thunderbolt 4 is also backwards compatible with any Thunderbolt 3 machine as well. So on the front of the dock, we do get two USB-A ports. These are 10 gigabit per second speed. There's also a UHS-2 card reader, which is really great because that'll give you the faster card reading speeds with compatible cards. And there's also a headset out. So this has both the headphone and the mic out. And you'll see this is available as a headset within your sound output on your computer. Then on the side of it, you do have the host port and it uses the included Thunderbolt 4 cable to attach it to your computer and I think they give you a pretty nice link cable with this as well and the stock is going to provide up to 96 watts of power to your computer or your iPad or phone so this is going to do a great job at keeping your device charged I had no issues with it keeping my 14 inch MacBook Pro running even while I was running applications like Final Cut Pro editing for a long period of time also in the box you do get the really beefy power adapter I do appreciate this one's thinner than some of the other ones I've used, but it's still pretty hefty. So if you want to travel with this, just know this is going to be a pretty big setup to travel around with. So Sateki does give you a pretty good balance of ports on this, but I think where I wish they could have improved this dock, I would have appreciated one or two more USB ports, especially if two of them were USB type C ports. Now, in theory, you can always use the Thunderbolt ports on the back as USB ports if you don't have that many Thunderbolt devices. But some of the newer docks I've been using recently have those built in type C ports on the front. That's always really handy if you want to attach an external SSD to the front of your dock instead, or just other different peripherals that are now using USB-C. Another thing they could improve on, the network does cap out at 1 gigabit. Some newer docks are now using 2.5 gigabits, or they're also using 10 gigabits as well. So this is a little bit behind the times in that regard. One nice thing, though, is you do get a power button on the front, and that is sometimes missing from docks. So that's nice that you have the ability to shut your dock off, and the peripherals that are attached to it will no longer activate. So the main draw to the Sateki Display Link dock is the fact that it does use Display Link to connect to external displays. So what this does is you actually install this third-party driver by Display Link. It's called Display Link Manager. And then you're able to connect extra devices to the HDMI ports on this. So some of the current Macs don't actually support more than one external display at a time. But by using Display Link, you're able to bypass this display limitation. So that's where this dock really shines. If you already have a couple displays, you're using a MacBook Air, and you want to be able to send your signal out to multiple displays at the same time for heavy productivity work this is going to be great if you use your built-in display on your computer it's going to support up to three external displays on mac four external displays on windows but if you use your computer in clamshell mode then this will support up to four external displays on mac now i don't have four displays i only have three displays i was able to connect the two hdmi outs to tvs and then i also used one of the thunderbolt ports to go into my thunderbolt 5k display and it worked great with the macbook air open as well i also tested this out with my 14 inch macbook pro it worked great on that as well 
So this dock has been really great, both with the Air and the Pro Series. I just wish it had some more connectivity because sometimes when I wanted to plug in more peripherals, when I was using some of my Elgato stuff, I had to pull out a couple USB-C to USB-A adapters and use some of the Thunderbolt ports on the back of that. So that was just a little bit disappointing. I feel like that slightly defeats the purpose of having the dock. But as far as power output goes and the display link technology, this works fantastic. I have no complaints about it at all. The Sateki display link dock does go for $300, which I feel like is a little bit high for what you get for this dock. But what it does pay for is the fact that Sateki is a really well-known brand. They have a really great design and aesthetic to, and they are just known for working really well with Mac computers. So if you have a Mac or Windows computer, especially a MacBook Air, and you wanna be able to deliver power and also to have multiple display outs through one dock, I really recommend the Sateki Display Link dock if that's the purpose you wanna use it for. If you're looking to have more ports and connectivity, you might just look for a dock that gives you a bit more of those. And Sateki has a couple other options as well that do provide more ports, but you trade out that display link technology that's built straight into this dock. So you kind of just have to look at your setup and decide if this dock is going to fit the bill for what your needs are or not. So if you're looking for a dock that has display link technology built into it to allow you to use up to four external displays, then I highly recommend the Sateki Display Link dock. If you have any other questions about this dock, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Let me know your opinion on it as well, or if you think there's something that Sateki should include in their next dock, leave a comment down below and maybe they'll upgrade their next dock with that. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. And if you're interested in buying this or any of my recommended computer gear, look for links in the description below.